a lot of people are getting diagnosed with autism yeah. and you say it's reversible. Absolutely. How, what would you say to the people that are really struggling with that message? It is an enormous amount of work, but it's possible. And yeah. I know hundreds of parents who've reversed autism in their kids. I've spoken at major autism conferences. Autism is basically mitochondrial network collapse. Mitochondria are the basis of consciousness and awareness in the world. So they make much less energy than they're supposed to when you have autism. But if the mitochondria are weak, that's not enough. That could give you autoimmunity, but it's not going to give you autism. Autism also has chronic neuroinflammation that's almost always autoimmune. And mold is the biggest trigger of that that I'm aware of. It can also be gluten, it can also be casein, it can be a bunch of other stuff, but those are the most common ones. So how do you fix it? Earlier is better. Number one, get rid of the toxins that are inhibiting mitochondrial function and reboot, restart, and enhance mitochondrial power. And I've written several books about that. And it's incredible what a little bit of ketone will do. But there's, there's you know, all of your work, it contains things like that as well. Like, how do you get mitochondria working? It's, it's incredibly important. 